Here's the situation. You have sales mix percentages for your products. What you need is a way to determine the number of products that make up your minimum sales mix target and the resulting percent of what that happens to be regardless of how someone may sort the data. So let's look at this example. Here I have your products, product numbers, year to date mix. I also put in these headers right here. I didn't fill out information because I didn't need to. But you could have many other things associated with these products. And when you make your report, you send it out to your team. They can sort this however they want. They could sort by products by hitting these auto filter buttons, largest to smallest. They could do it by sales, by attainment. You don't know what they're going to do or how they're going to sort it. I could even have the product names. They could do it alphabetically, whatever. So what I want to do is be able to fill out this information and have it never change based on however they sort the data. And I left these two uh, columns blank on purpose because they're going to be two helper columns for me. And every time I have helper columns, I always go like this just to let myself know that these are helper columns and they need to be hidden. And just in case anybody unhides them, that might you know, signify them that they need to rehide them because they're not really part of what needs to be seen. The first part of this is going to be the large formula on your sales mix. Drag it through the range, come up here, hit F4 to lock it in place. Now, normally you would put in a number here to return which large you want. For example, if you typed in the number 1, it would bring back the largest. If you typed in the number 2, it would bring back the second largest. But there's two problems with that. First of all, you'd have to type in a number for each one of these rows, which becomes tedious. Secondly, once you type in the number, it's frozen. So if you do resort this in any way, the number is going to move, and these are not going to stay constant. The trick is to make sure this never moves. So to be able to do that, and also to make it draggable, I'm going to use this row function instead of typing in a number. So it's going to always return the number for the row of this cell. It's, this one is going to be 1. When I drag it through, it's going to um, change as it goes down. So this one's going to be 1, this one's going to be 2, this one's going to be 3. It will always be like that. So however this gets sorted now, it's always going to be in order. This will never change now because I use that. That's the key to this whole thing. Now, the second helper column, I need a running total, so I'm going to sum this to that. And just drag this down, and by the time I get to the bottom, I should be at 100%. And I am. Okay. Now I'm going to come up here and work on what I'm actually looking for. I want to know how many of my products make up at least 80% of my sales mix. So, I'm going to use COUNTIF. I'm going to count if on this column right here, come all the way down, and then i got to type in the criteria next. The criteria is going to be less than or equal to, then I need the ampersand, and it's going to be less than or equal to whatever I typed in here for my target. So let's look at this for a second. Less than or equal to is going to return 1, 2, 3, 4, the number 4 because 75.1 is the highest one here that is less than or equal to 80. But I want to be at least at 80. So I want this next one to be included also. So to do that, I'm just going to add 1 to the count so it always catches the next one. So there we go. That's the correct answer. It returned 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have 5 products that make up 80% of my at least 80% of my sales mix. Now I want to know what that number actually is because it's not 80. It's going to be 80.1, 80.2, 80.3, 80.0, 80 whatever. Here we can see quickly that it's 80.1. So to find that, I'm going to use the sum offset combo. The first argument in offset is the base. That's my base. The next is how far down, how many rows do I want to move off my base. I want to move that many, whatever that number ends up being, and I don't need the rest of these arguments, so I could just comma my way through them and hit enter. So that's 80. So now if I come up here and I change this to 75, these two are changing accordingly. I'm going to leave it at 80. But now, let's say I'm going to sort this. 
from smallest to highest doesn't matter this all changed that all changed this did not change because this did not change this did not change and that's key this will never change this is the one that really starts the whole thing off because I used row here instead of numbers then when I send this out of course I said I'm gonna hide that let me show you how I did this and that is a way to solve this need